Hi, I'm Dan Starr. I'm a keyboard teacher, but it, that doesn't really matter. What I'm going to talk to you about today is the optimum way for you to play a bunch of tunes that you already know and love. Your favorite music, in other words. So, uh, why am I doing this? Well, I would really like to see more people that are producers of music, makers of music, than just merely consumers. I think it's important to us to each individual and to society as a whole. So that's why I'm doing it. And uh, I want to talk to you today about the advantages of keyboards over acoustic pianos. Now if you have already owned an acoustic piano, that's fine. You're, and it may have tremendous sentimental value to you. Uh, it may have been your grandmother's, your mother's or something. Or it may be something you spent a lot of money on. Well, that's, that's okay too. But you should know that you're going to work a little bit harder to play on that. Because electronic instruments are an advance over the acoustic piano. They were intended to be from the start. That's why Yamaha, the, the, the company that invented them, invented the digital piano, uh, called it a Clabanova, a new keyboard. So they really intended this to be the case. Now why is this an advance? By the way, I am reading this because I don't want to miss anything. Um, so anyways, first of all, most people don't want to be professionals. They just want to have a fine hobby, something you take their mind off their troubles or relax from work or something. And so they, they're hobbyists. And that's a good thing to be. I, I wouldn't recommend the professional life much. I am one, but I'm not a proponent of it for anyone other than those few people amongst us who have feel the urge to become professionals. Being a hobbyist is a great and wonderful thing, and the best way to do that is to learn on an, our, an electronic keyboard. And I'm going to tell you why that is. Now, you may have heard otherwise from people who have an interest in taking your money or building their own ego at your expense or something of, of that nature. Um, you may have bought into what they had to say. They may have been very, very big experts and in charge of something or, or you know maybe your boss or something but I'm here to tell you that my chops I use that word too too often my chops are probably better than theirs I've been performing professionally for over 40 years since 1968 what is that a long time ago I uh, getting on 45 years I guess I've been teaching professionally since 1987 that's a long time too I've taught people of all ages, all sorts of instruments, including guitar and banjo and harmonica, and even some voice. Huh. Those are instruments I don't even play, but I do understand music very well and how those instruments do make them. I've played with those instruments before. Anyhow, that's the first advantage I want to talk to you about. The advantage of being able to play a lot of different instruments by learning a single instrument. Yeah, keyboard can be tough, but from keyboard you can play clarinet plus saxophone, um, cello, violin, flute. And you don't have to physically learn those items. You know, you just have to learn to play a keyboard. Because the sounds that are made by keyboards are not the crappy old sounds that they used to be back in the day. They're really authentic and only a professional player of those instruments would know the difference. And as I said, most of you are just looking for a good hobby. So a saxophone really sounds like a saxophone modernly. And when did this change? About 15 years ago. By the way, the best piano in the world is still only a piano. It's only one sound. I've played some really good ones, over $100,000 good. Nine foot grands, and they still just sound like a piano. So you may have a great one, but they're, it's only going to sound like one instrument no matter what you do. And that's a real savings when time and money is important, I got to tell you. Also, let's talk a little bit about money. I know it's a sore subject in these tough economic times, but an acoustic piano needs to be tuned here in Tucson, where I live and teach and play, pretty much twice a year to keep it up. A lot of people don't do it, but it should be tuned every now and then, and that, that's getting up to $80, $90 of tuning. So that's money you don't have to spend. Uh, electronic keyboards never lose their tune. Ever! They never lose their tune. So you don't have to spend a dime on them once you purchase them. And they're fairly cheap. 
You don't have to go down and do your digital piano store anymore. You can go to any old music store and buy a good digital piano for five, six, seven hundred dollars. A new acoustic runs you five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. So you can, and it costs money for upkeep too. Also, uh, electronic instruments have a built-in metronome which can be used very nicely. You don't have to buy anything else. You probably want to buy a stand or something like that, but you know, once you once the initial outlay is gone and you've learned to play it, um, well, that's where I come in as a digital piano teacher. But if you've learned to play it, and I don't just mean play piano, but I mean learn to play all those different instruments I mentioned earlier. They're, they're a little bit different and there are some things you need to know about it, but once you know that, you can play all the songs you want with whatever uh, instrument is appropriate to that song, like jazz is something that favors uh, saxophones. Well, you can play a saxophone or, or guitar. You can play piano too, but as I said earlier, playing the piano gives you the sound that once you hit the key, it's gone. So you're going to have to play more notes to keep the thing going. With uh, some of the other sounds, as long as you hit the key, the sound keeps on going. And that means that you have to hit the keys less. Now, another thing that keeps on going is the chord in your left hand. Now, you should go into your digital piano store and ask to see a demonstration of this by somebody who actually knows how to use it. A lot of people don't. I know it's unfortunate, but it's true. Um, they don't take the time and trouble to do that. Now, common chords are exactly that. They're common. There's not a whole lot of them. They're typical. They're common, and once you know them, you know them for all sorts of different songs. So they don't take all that long to do. We'll have more on this in my video on chords. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Cheaper, lighter, more portable. And you can plug headphones into an electronic instrument, which is great for those 2 a.m. practices for those folks that have neighbors that don't want to hear you playing your piano at all hours. You get it? It's an advance. It's better. Now, you can go online and you'll find a lot of people who disagree with me, but you'll find they're almost all professionals or have some vested interest in making you feel like an electronic keyboard is nothing more than a poor man's excuse for a piano. It's not so. Most hobbyists are just lucky to play whatever notes they can play, let alone all these special things that are really good acoustic. I mean one in the ten, twenty thousand dollar range. Oops, uh, cost. We're gonna have to answer that. So you've got the advantages, those are the advantages. Bye.